Hi, Bull Bakers. We are coming up on the most romantic time of the year. And you know what that means? You are going to have to make a delicious dessert for yourself or your significant other, or just two for yourself. When I used to work in restaurants around Valentine's Day, the most popular dessert on a menu was always molten lava cake, also known as chocolate fondant. Really easy to make. I am going to show you how you can make a tiny little batter and make enough for just two people. It's absolutely perfect and it's really easy. So in my bowl, I'm going to add in some chopped bittersweet chocolate. Now I use bittersweet chocolate because it has that extra kind of a bite of chocolate. It's not very sweet. It's really lovely and rich and it just really sets this dessert apart. And then into this, I'm going to add in a little bit of butter. So now what you want to do is melt these two ingredients together. You can do that in the microwave or over a pot of simmering water. So this is melted. It smells really good. Okay, into this, we're going to add in some sugar. Now for the flavorings, a little bit of salt. Super important when it comes to working with chocolate. Salt and chocolate are like best friends. A little bit of vanilla. Now hear me out. You can leave this out if you don't like it, but I'm going to add in a little bit of instant coffee granules. Now this just adds extra depth and flavor to your fondant or to your lava cake. It works uh, really well with chocolate. If you don't like coffee, leave it out. But honestly, just try a little bit in there. It'll make the world difference. So just mix those up. And then we're going to follow that with your egg and egg yolk. Now, if you don't eat egg, you can always use a flax egg here. That is no problem at all. I'll put that information on my website. There we go. And last but not least, a tiny bit of flour just to make this cakey and to bring it together. Okay, so there's our little batter. Look at that. It smells delicious. So for your lava cake, you can use ramekins. I like to use mugs. Here I have two mugs. They have been very well buttered and dusted in flour. This just makes sure that your lava cake will just pop right out of there. You want to make sure that your mugs are um, heat resistant and safe for the oven. That's really important. It usually says it on the bottom. Now here's the best part. You can bake these off straight away if you want to, or you can put them into the fridge for up to four days. So that means you can bake them off whenever you're ready for your dessert. It just makes for really easy entertaining and people thing that you went to this huge big fuss when you just pull out this gorgeous lava cake but as for me right now I can't wait and I'm going to pop these into the oven so these look perfect now the secret to an amazing lava cake is in the baking you want to bake it just right now look at these they're a little bit baked around the outside but they're still like lava and soft in the middle that's exactly what we want to do so you want to dig into these straight away so Kevin come on in for your valentine's day dessert Jim thank you there's nothing like an edible gift. Absolutely, straight from the heart. Oh man. This is like chocolate lava gold. Oh. Here. It is just like super gooey, <clears throat> cooked perfectly. This is the perfect amount of lava cake for two people. So happy Valentine's Day, Kevin. Happy Valentine's Day. Mwah. Thanks, Sean. Enjoy you guys, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Mm. I'm so glad. Oh man. That I don't have to share this. I know, I know. I'd probably eat both myself. Mm -hmm.